So hello again, and this week's video, we're back at the computer. It, it's great outside, the sun is out again, but um, I've had a lot of requests recently to do a, an end-to-end -end video about my workflow in Lightroom, about how I edit an image from coming out of the camera to being as finished as possible. I never truly finish a picture. I always tinker with it for weeks and weeks and weeks, making little tiny changes here and there. But how do you do that main body of change so you get to an image that you're generally comfortable with? It's something that a number of people have asked for. And uh, tonight we're gonna go and, uh, and show you exactly how I use Lightroom to, to do that process. So let's not mess about. Let's, uh, let's turn around and let's get going and let's uh, get on the computer. So here we are. Um, this is an image that we uh, photographed uh, last night, actually, in, uh, in Liverpool. And a uh, great night it was as well. Although the, sadly, the, the, there was a very grey sky and it was raining in parts and then drying out really quickly and then raining again. But the sky really never changed from being um, what is really a dull day in Liverpool. But it's an amazing place and it's an amazing location to go and photograph. And I encourage anybody that's interested in photography that lives in the area to get yourself down onto the waterfront in Liverpool and, and take some pictures. So this is, um, this is an image that, uh, that we took. This is the Three Graces, and uh, you, you may recognise them. This is the, uh, the Port of Liverpool building. Then in the middle there we have the Cunard building, and on the end with the bird on the top is, uh, is the famous Liver building of Liverpool. And this is the Peahead area. So this is an image that we took. Uh, this is straight out of the camera, no, no changes made just yet. And I'm going to take you through the process that I would normally use to, in Lightroom to get to uh, an, an end image. So first of all, um, we can see that this image is, is a little bit out of true. It's not quite straight. So I would normally try and do a number of little things quickly and first just to kind of get a baseline. So the first thing I always do is I always go to lens corrections. And I always, always, always just click on um, remove chlorine calibration and put a profile on for the lens. And just a really quick click and, uh, and that's that done. Next, I'm going to come to transform. And, and this is kind of, kind of leaning back a little bit. So, uh, and, that, and that's because my, my camera, although it was on a tripod, was not totally straight. If it was totally straight, it would have been off the, the building would have been off the top of the, uh, the frame. So I just needed to tilt the camera up slightly just to get the building fully in the frame. So that's given me some converging um, verticals there. So I'm just gonna go to the vertical and as you can see, I can just rotate that round. And as I do that, it starts to, to level that out. I'm just gonna fix that. And I think it's probably gonna be, let's have a look. there minus eight and i think that's that's about straight now cool so that's the that's the first part done the next thing i'm going to do is i am going to um crop this image so let's just go into crop and let's just grab all of this and let's work out where i want my crop to be so that building there at the back is is okay um I've don't really want that bus in there, so I'm probably going to crop it on that point there. Uh, do I want the roundabout in and all the road around it? Let's have a look at that. No, it just looks like too much black and too much um, too much there. So I'm going to bring it in a bit further, probably to that end of that tree line. And then I'm just going to bring that up there. And I think that is my crop yeah happy with that enter so that's the first thing i've done i've i've, I've straightened my image up and i've uh put a crop on the image so that's that's the start of the process next i'm going to i'm going to kind of go through these these menu options i'm going to start with basic and i don't think there are many highlights in in here but i'm just going to have a look at the highlights there's nothing really maybe it might just bring that sky back a little bit or oh, that sky is is truly dull and boring, but we'll see what we can do. Um, well, there's any shadows in, in that brickwork. You can see already the, the shadows are starting to come out. I think that's, that's probably okay about there. Whites, um, we are just gonna hold down the shift, the, sorry, the Alt key and uh, click on the white, and then we're gonna move it to the right until we start to see the, the white starting to blip out. There we go, and we're gonna go back, 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 there. 
See how the, the, the image is starting to look brighter and a bit more vibrant, but we, we, we're starting to lose the blacks. So let's do the same on the blacks and go back. There we go, there's a little bit of black in that tree there. There. Now the, the stonework in that building is starting to look quite good now. Um, but just moving down, let's just put a little bit of clarity on it. Not a lot, just a little bit, maybe 10, 15 maybe. And then maybe a little bit of vibrance to give it a little bit of colour. Go. I'm going to leave the saturation for now. So that's the basic editing done. I think previously we've looked at each of these modules in turn, or most of them anyway, and how to do various parts, but this is the first time we've kind of put them all together to edit a full image end to end. Um, next I'm going to go down and uh, in this situation here I am going to, uh, just a quick effect that I always put on my images, uh, and that is a vignette. I'll do that at the end actually, I'll, I'll normally do that at the end. Next thing I'm going to do is make some little quick edits. So here we've got um, a bollard which I don't overly like, so I'm going to zoom into that bollard and I'm going to go to my uh, sort of cloning and healing tool. Uh, how big is that? That's probably about the right size. Because of the bend on the road there and the, 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 uh, the road there going away from us, it'll be different, difficult to do that in one go, so I'm going to do it in two pieces. I'm going to take the top half and let's see what that gives me. That's not too bad there, I think. Just move it a little bit. And then, oh, moving it the wrong way. There we go. You've got to be quite careful with these little tools. There we go. And then I'm going to do another one on the bottom. Why it thinks he wants to go up there, I have no idea. Let's bring that back down to here. Once again, we have looked at each of these tools previously. And this is just going to help us. There we go. Oops. I've got a little bit of yellow in there still, actually, from the, uh, from the bollard. Let's try and get that right. Is that anywhere near? A couple of enters, let's have a look at that. See, I made a bit of a mess of that to be fair. So let's do that again. Let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of that one. And let's do it again. Um, I'm gonna go around the top. Let's get rid of that bollard. I do not want, there we go, we've got it this time. We've got it this time. So let's just move that so that we are not losing, or we didn't get in too much yellow in there. There we go, oh, back a bit. We don't have to be 100% accurate to be fair. And then we're just gonna do another one and just get rid of the bottom of the bollard there. Does like to go up there, doesn't it? It's done it again. Couldn't come down here. I'm just dragging slowly. The computer's running a little bit slow today for some reason. But that's fine. We can, we can catch it with us. It's in no great rush. There we go. There. Bollard gone. So. Let's now go back to our main image, and I'm quite comfortable with that. The next thing I want to do is what I've got with this sky. So I'm going to go into um, the uh, spot healing tool, and I've got nothing really on here. So what I want to do first is I just want to select the sky. So I'm going to press O, and that will give me my overlay. I've got auto mask turned on. I've got quite a heavy flow at 92%, uh, at and I'm going to have a nice big brush and let's start painting. And as you can see, we're putting red wherever we go. So we go around. My computer's going really slow tonight for some strange reason. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. Let's just close Photoshop and see if that can help because Photoshop can sometimes um, kind of grab memory. Let's continue on, on here. 
that's around the top. I've got my auto uh, mask on, so it should kind of help in not selecting the, um, you see how slow this is? This is not the best demonstration. It always happens when you do some kind of online demonstration. It's going to whiz around quite quickly and, and let it catch up with me as I go. Let's have a look at that see how much it's done. There we go. And I'll just make my brush a bit smaller. There we go. You can see it as I just roll my wheel on my mouse or I'm using an Apple Mac, obviously. So it's one of those magic wheely things. A little bit of an area down there. Have I got it all in? Yes, I have. What I do now is I want to take some out. So I'll just hit on the erase, like a nice small brush, and just make sure that I've got all the areas that, um, let's put a bit more flow on there, up to about 90 odd percent. Let's get it out a bit quicker. I'm not going to do a super perfect job here. Because when I press the mouse key, I get a red ball so that you can see when I'm pressing the mouse key. It just detracts a little bit from being able to see exactly what I'm doing. But that's kind of fine. I can deal with that. And then in that area there, we just take a little bit of the red off the side of the building, off that tree there, off that building down there. And... That's not too bad. That'll, that'll do us for now. That'll, that'll kind of paint the picture for you. And then, um, once again, O to get rid of that. So now we've got that selected. Now what we can do with these tools here is change that sky. Because that sky is truly dull. And it's never going to be great. It's not going to be a brilliant sky tonight. But what we may be able to do is just make it look a little bit better. So if we just take the exposure down half a stop... Already, it's starting to give it a little bit of definition. Let's push that contrast up a little bit. See what that does. That's not. It's not brilliant, but let's take the let's take the highlights out. Take the highlights out completely. See what that does. Too dark. Don't like it. Let's go back a little bit. Let's put some back in. Take the clarity out. That might just mist it a little bit further. Take the sharpness out. Why not? And there we go. We've got a bit of a grey sky. It, it's better than it was a few moments ago. I am thinking I'm quite comfortable with that. Okay, so that's, that's that. Let's try and give these trees a little bit of a lift now. So I'm going to go back and create a new one. This time I'm, I'm not going to mess around with the red. I'm just going to put an exposure. I'm going to lift the exposure and lift the shadows of these trees. I'm going to take a little mask off. I'm going to drop my flow down to about 50% so that it doesn't give it all in one go. And then I'm just going to fettle kind of around those, those trees a little bit just to see if I can. So I'm just doing little random clicks here and, here and there just to see if I can just lift those up a little bit. And then I'm going to do it, once again, I'm going to do the same in these bushes down here. So a little bit kind of... Look at the lines, it's running through that. Just, see if, just, just to lift those trees a little bit, just to make them look a bit greener. I've got a bit of a delay on, uh, on my mouse as well. I the computer's not running overly fast for weird reasons today, but we'll, we'll fix that some other time. Okay, so there we are. There's, the, there's, my, um, there's my trees kind of roughly done. And then I am going to come down. Um, I'm going to just... Uh, do a little bit of uh, changes. I've got 79 meg. Look at that. How weird is that? Um, something's chomping my memory, but I will run up and we're going to put a sharpening of about 60 on it and a mask. Once again, holding on the alt key. I should now get my, here we go, my masking layer. Take it up. Don't want to mask the sky. Don't want to sharpen the sky. Only want to sharpen the building. Ideally, about there there we go and then down into effects last thing just put a little vignette on the edge not a massive one just a little tiny vignette 
and there we go. Let's have a look at that, how it was from the beginning to the end. So the one on the left is, is what we started with. The one on the right is, uh, is, our, is our edited image. And uh, I think you'll agree it's a lot better. It's never going to be a brilliant image, to be fair. It was a really grey and rainy evening. Um, you know, these buildings can look fantastic in the evening light as the, as the sun shines across the River Mersey and just hits the front of these buildings. Um, and if you've got time, it's worth walking all the way around, all the way around these buildings, maybe with a zoom lens, because, you know, even at 200, 300 mil, you can zoom in on some real amazing details of these architecture. It's easy to stand back and take a, a wide angle uh, image of, of these buildings uh, on a, with a 15 millimeter lens, which is what, exactly what I did. Um, but really do go around and, and get your uh, and get your 200 mil lens out and, and just really focus in on some details because there are some amazing elements in there that uh, that can be photographed. Okay, so that's our image. Um, I will just put that on here full screen for you, and there we go. Let's take it a moment. There we go. Um, there's one of the, uh, the there are the three graces. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was relatively quick, um, but it does show the end-to-end -end workflow that I use when I am editing solely in Lightroom. Obviously, sometimes I use Photoshop as well, and we'll, we'll look at how I do that in another video in the future. That's the end-to-end -end process in Lightroom. If you've liked this video, use the thumbs up. They're just down there. Just give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment and let us know how we can improve any topics that you'd like us to cover in the future. And please, down there in that corner, subscribe, and then you'll see all our future videos um, as we publish them on a, on, on a weekly basis. So thank you very much for watching and uh, we will see you next time.